Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you the new M5A1 Reno event vehicle. In order to get it today, you must have done all previous event tasks and the ones from today that require you to play in Moscow, destroy tanks and score semi-auto rifle kills. Since I have mostly played the Moscow campaign, that is where I was going to get my tank and semi-auto rifle kills anyway. I wish I could say that I achieved my tank kills without stealing them from my friends, but I really don't regret that I can't say that. Oh god, Pip. I, I you were in a new plane. plane. I don't need a plane, I need to destroy the tanks. Yeah, I even. Uh, that's another reason to not play the silly plane that doesn't even have enough power to penetrate a, a, a tank with its bombs. By the way, easy tank kill for me. You don't even need to kill tanks. Yeah, I need to win. I could have easily destroyed the tanks. Oh wait, is it approaching us? Yeah, it's it's running. Oh, that's perfect. Tank. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Pip, do you need tank kills? Yes, I need tank kills, oh. and it's not easy actually. Yeah, imagine getting your tank stolen by a Stuka. Oh my, are you fuck? Can uh, LA anti air guns kill LA planes? Okay, I injured the tank at least. Okay. Okay, I can straight now. Not necessary. No, who stole my tank? I just threw my boom pack under the tank. Wow, well, Pip. Sounds like a skill issue. The semi auto rifle kills were easy to get, especially with the ZH 29, which is the first German semi auto rifle in the Moscow campaign that comes with a magazine, which makes reloading much faster so we are less vulnerable in the heat of battle. The M5A1 Rhino can be selected for the American tank squad in the Normandy campaign. Thanks to the Twitch drop events since open beta release, I can confirm that the M5A1 Rhino has the same stats as a fully upgraded M5A1 tank. The gas canisters made me worry a bit, but I assume they have purely decorative purpose. Other than that, it looks just like the default M5A1 tank, but comes fully upgraded, which is nice if you haven't played the Normandy campaign as Americans a lot, just like me. Next up, the armament. With the cannon, I managed to destroy even the highest unlockable German tanks, which is currently the Panzer IV H, by carefully penetrating the unprotected parts of the turret a few times. You shouldn't expect to effectively destroy German tanks with this vehicle every time, but they sure can be destroyed by this tank, with its improved AP rounds. The MGs come with a large 250 round magazine, which makes fighting enemy squads at a distance more enjoyable, since you don't have to reload after killing 3 soldiers. Last but not least, the special spikes at the front. Yes, they are part of the armament too, and I must say, it's even the best part of this tank. Since the M5A1 tank doesn't have much to protect the crew inside, you can find yourself quickly with just one tanker remaining. Usually I would drive into a somewhat safe position, from where I can sometimes shoot enemy soldiers but it would become a real hassle to play like this. But with the M5A1 Rhino, I never leave that driver's seat empty. Rolling over Germans has never been that much fun for me. Not that I have very much experience in that, I don't even have a driving license which made the whole scenario even worse when the police stopped me and never mind. Driving this tank is a pure joy. If you play this game for fun and don't have the higher up tanks unlocked, I would argue that playing this tank is well worth your time. The driving performance? Due to its small size and weak armor, the M5A1 Rhino is very mobile, can turn quickly on the spot and get you out of dangerous situations most of the time. But of course it's even better if you don't stand still to begin with. If you want to get an idea of how much fun this tank actually is, just keep watching. You're welcome. I love how many uh, Platypus, not Platypus, Boss 56 and F420 kill themselves. Yeah, nice. In, uh, in chat. I'm still on uh, a, yeah. I'm still on a killing streak in the tank. I love semi auto so much. <laughs> yeah, I love them too. I love just. No, I love they got me. They still get the kill. But I know deep inside, I got the kill. Oh, I just ran over cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Solomon's dead! Cheese is here in this house. I'm back, I'm back. Wait, where? Let's go kill Cheese, let's go kill Cheese. I need to go in. 
They're still nah, upstairs. I'm rushing, point, I'm rushing point, I'm rushing point. Oh no, the plane. Yeah, uh. Yes, I'm just coming, Kazi. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh yeah, okay. I coming. already know what to do. <laughs> I need that semi automatic gun of yours. Yeah. Oh wait, is this one? What? Wait, is that no. one there? Behind no. you, B Bowser. Come here. I'm sure. I'm sure. Bowser. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Bowser beer. Okay. Oh my god. The pronunciation to us each time I say it. I'm sure. You owe me beer. more than Shelly Medica than Bro beer, but every time I say it, it gets worse. Go special killer. Oh no, that's Bro beer. No, there's a grenade. Get me out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm killing, was outside the house! I'm killing the next tank. Nice. Oh, and the plane just Yeah, me. nice. I got it. Oh, there was cheese in the tank. Bruh. He didn't even realize I was there killing him. Uh, I killed you in the tank more than, yeah, more than did, once. Yeah. And yeah. I ran over I, your I soldiers. I, I yeah, ran over your soldiers. In browser, yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> you just Did you see that? I just kept running through your team yeah. all the time. Every single time I spawned, there was your tank just driving around, killing everyone before I could even get my grenade out. And, <laughs> yeah. And then when I do throw it, you just drive away, so... Yes! <laughs> there's nothing we can do. <laughs> no, you need to pick it up so it becomes it an impact grenade. Spawn. See jagged spikes coming around a corner, have your whole squad wiped. <laughs> just, just out of nowhere, you just hear, Are oh, you dead? <laughs> the small gun on this tank allows it to destroy whatever tank the enemies might throw at you. However, it always takes multiple shots to destroy even the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 234-2, better known as Puma. So if the situation allows it, you can ignore the fact that you have a gun and room room among the German lines, not only to kill the enemy soldiers, but also to draw their attention and distract them. This way, even your speedy engine becomes a weapon. Overall, this tank will not help you to win every battle or to get the upper hand against the Germans on its own. But if you are looking to have a good time in the game and do not care too much about efficiency, playing this tank can really lift your mood every now and then. After all, I did manage to destroy the currently highest unlockable tank of the Germans twice, even though luck played a big role in that. So making use of the cannon can pay off if you're not already busy running down the Germans like a maniac. What is your impression of the M5A1 Rhino? Did you have fun playing it or do really well against enemy tanks and infantry? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everybody for watching and see you in the next one.